Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, Please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as, as much as you're getting to know moi. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift, you know, um, please go ahead and pass it on. You never know how it can impact somebody in the same way. So I hope you are able to resonate in the content of my video. Y'all, I'm about to really step out on my comfort zone. I haven't did. Well, it's not really stepping out of my comfort zone per se because I've done videos like this before. But I guess I've been so used to doing uh, Hey Oka videos for so long. Universe is telling me now it's time for you to branch off. You can come back here, but, you know, there's different things that you've experienced as well. You know, it's overcome and healed. You know, now it's time for you to help, you know, pass that torch on to somebody else. Um... So, uh, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's uh, Narc, narc uh, Gaslighting, Moving On to Another Supply, the uh, Discard Phase. You know, I, I've gone through different things like that. I've seen friends go through that. I've seen family members go through that. Um, when you have gone through different things in your life where you have normalized, you know, uh, narc experience sometimes i mean it's in the normal you know it was the norm for me you know and i normalized the heck out of that and you know when i went through my spiritual awakening i did not know i was exposed to narcissistic tendencies i was you know um being raised by narcissists you know i've dated them you know um i had to heal from it you know i had to go through narcissistic uh tendencies where i was discovering my own traits of what i carried that i was passing down to my children and um being able to do that and and being a conqueror of that i'm not going you know it's like so you know survival you know it can be looked at in so many ways because there's a lot of times where we allowed ourselves to be in survival mode for a long time which i was you know i want to say that i'm conquering and i'm a conqueror for those different things you know um uh it's a scary situation when you're allowing yourself to really heal from that you know anybody who's ever uh dated a narcissist or you have uh grown up to narcissistic parents whether it was one uh or the other or it was both or hell it was like a whole fleek of them you know that was passed on to that you know we're we're breaking toxic cycles and generational curses and that mess doesn't come easy, and especially when you're dealing with uh, narcissistic uh, abuse. You know, those things um, can be very hard. And when you get to that point, you have to understand um, how uh, you have been in a situation where you have, you know, it, it became a, a force of nature to you when you have been in a narcissistic relationship for a long time. And these are the things where, you know, I've known, known like, with you being an empath. This is like your direct partnership of nightmare versus nightmare. You're showing uh, the narcissist that you don't have to stay in a situation like this. You can disconnect from it at any time. But there's a lot of times uh, if you have finally broke away, I mean, broke away on your healing, but you're still in that connection. Congratulations. You know, you're being bold. Stay strong. You know, it can be very hard. You know, dealing with a narcissist is not something that's easy to break away from. It's not. You know, um, and you, you're you dealing with that or you have totally branched away where you're probably in a different state. You know, you're, you're not in the same household anymore. And I tell people, even if you had to go through a whole, you know, reset where you had to start from the ground down to move up, you know, that is a blessing in disguise. You just don't realize that because there's a lot of times where people can be in uh, DV, you know, domestic violence, you know, um, it's where they don't make it out. You know, you hear about these things every day where, you know, when they're trying to allow themselves to break free from, it's not easy because there's a lot of times where when they find out you're leaving, oh, all hell's going to break loose. You know, a lot of times people, you know, they get bold. You know, I've seen different things where, you know, it was a trigger to me. But now it's just like I had to get in that vibration and say my narcissistic experience really taught me a lot. It really did. I'm grateful for it in all forms. You know, um, I had to allow myself to not uh, talk about 
the people that was involved in that as a narrative, but actually seeing that it was a blessing in disguise. You know, you're going through gaslighting when you allow yourself to finally have that courage to see it for what it truly is. This is the experience where it's based off of people that will never tell the truth. You know, you are that supply. You are that that uh, battery that they will try to convince you're a dead cell. You know, um, they will never see, you know, they will never see uh, the issues that they have caused you, the damage that they continue to uh, continue to place you in until you allow yourself to get out of that uh, recycle experience. You know, you constantly keep going through it. You keep going through it. And when they see that you're pulling away, they'll guilt trip you. They'll all of a sudden the love that um, they'll love bomb you. You know, um, going through those things, they'll gaslight you and, and basically feel like, you know, they'll, you, there's sometimes, oh, I can't live without you. Um, or if you leave, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end myself. Different things like that just to make sure you don't go. Or when you get to that point where you have gotten fed up and you're on the way out the door, then all of a sudden, it can be a princess in shining honor, armor or a prince charming in, some, you know, in, in shining armor um, until you, they get you right exactly back. You know exactly where they are, where you were before, and is right back to square one. And just for the fact that you stepped out, like you were their property, they see you as that property. There, you don't have your own identity. Is what you belong to them. And when they're doing that, they will gaslight you in so many different ways. There, you know, when you start doing it, when you start calling them out on it, it'll go through their ghosting. They'll, uh, you know, they'll play that silent mode, like they don't want to talk to you. You know, it become when you challenge them at that fact, you have to understand you they're going to be pissed off by that. You know, they're going to really be pissed off at you by that. And there's going to be it is going to get to that point where it's going to make it look like everything is your fault. You know, they have every anything that goes against dehumanizing you is justified. You know, and when you start stepping out and recognizing yourself as being, hey, Nobody, I'm not nobody's property. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a free agent for everything within my power on anything that is going to get me to heal myself. And when you do that, you become the biggest enemy of them all. The biggest enemy. Anybody that will be prone to open to listen to them about what you're doing or what they're claiming you're doing. Anything that they can make themselves look like a victim of what you have done to them because you have stepped out of line. They will gaslight anybody. They will sit up here and, and um, manipulate different people to make it seem like you are the work you're the scum of the earth. You know, you'll do that. You know, they have a thing about uh, uh, people that um, they will embarrass you publicly at times and there's sometimes where you can sit up here and complain about how this person is is like evil at home. And you, you can be out in the streets and um, all of a sudden the, the character is different. You know, you're going through that. And when you get to that point where you start noticing the narc's habits, their player syndromes, you know, you go through this. You know, they'll, they'll come out with pathological lies all the time. They have a lie on top of a lie to the point where that lie has became, you know, fact into them in their eyes. And you know what has happened, you know, and then you have to understand the more you start calling them out on it and the more you're starting to identify with their their habits, you know, that they keep up, they'll start pushing away. And when you start pushing away, you'll be that doormat. They'll do everything up under the sun to dehumanize you. You'll just feel defeated in every kind of way. Like, you know, this there's something wrong with me. You know, and it, it is you've gone through different things like that where there's days you have lost sleep. You know, these people have done everything up under the pattern for you. And that you have to understand that the, the, the sources came by, you know, because a lot of times you don't understand how a narcissist is formed. You know, a lot of them have done, uh, have gone through some kind of abuse, extreme abuse growing up, abandonment issues, mommy issues, daddy issues, you know, uh, uh, being touched as a child. You know, you never know. So it's like, um, instead of healing with it and coming to that point where, you know, let me allow myself to heal. Let me go um, to the person that caused this for me to allow myself to, you know, really heal this. Let me go to where the root of the problem is. You know, um, I've never heard of a narcissist doing doing that. You know, a lot of times, you know, it may be out there, you know, that they have. Or, or it came to a point where realization when you finally broke that pattern or probably disconnected. There's some people 
You know, I've known some people that have gone through very serious damaging things and their life is growing up. And then when you finally detach and say no more, you know, that per there's some people out there that actually have a conscience and say, you know, I really miss that person. And not saying I miss that person because I, I miss beating them up with my words or even with my hands. Or, you know, breaking their spirit down or dehumanizing them in certain ways. There's certain people out there that really know that they really messed that person up. You know, it's like with my situation. I was, ooh, I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, I was broken in so many ways. I was broken in so many ways but just being able to say I was broken but I'm not you know you can be broken but it is breaking you away from everything that you were programmed to believe about yourself about your spirit about you know how life should be love doesn't exist at least not for you you know you're going through all those things and you know there's a lot of times people are you know I, I see a form they have I think it's quota Quota form where I get emails and there's these different people, you know, they got people that's doing platforms about that, you know, um, that they're talking about different narcissist uh, experience that they have gone through. You know, they when, when you start noticing those patterns, you know, they were like, does narcissists ever heal? Do they ever feel bad? And they're like, hell no. <laughs> you know, they're like, no, because they don't see a pattern of where their faults is. They can see. You know, it's just them, they're ego driven, they're very egotistical. They can listen to you all day if you're giving them praises. You know. And um when you're doing that, they can listen to you all day. But when you start telling them what their problem is, all of a sudden I'm not talking about me. You are the whole issue this whole time. They don't have issues, they don't have faults. Everything is justified about how they treat you. This is how you know they how they do that. You know, um when they're moving on with their next supply, you can you you will get that vibration is that you know they they have you know it was something wrong with you so they will move on to somebody else and it's like that relationship and basically it's not a relationship it's a situationship you know um they moved on to a new supplier a person that doesn't know them like that they're you know um when you have met that person if it's in a relationship, it doesn't always have to be in a uh, relationship as boyfriend, girlfriend, at least the wife, husband, you know, baby mama, baby daddy, you know, life problem, you know, life partner or whatever. It can be with friends. You know, you can tell that person what you went through. And while you're telling them that, you know, what you went through, they're already starting to make a, a person, a persona about how they're going to be to you and to where it's going to look like that is the perfect person. In your life that you know they do you know that they're doing that for you know I seen a post is like uh you know what did it say um and I'll bust it out laughing it's like is that person mad because you you're not the person you claim you're gonna be or the place and person you said you were you know because when you start telling them what your issues are maybe you lack confidence maybe you don't have love for yourself you know every person that you dealt with is just like spit on you and when you're doing that they're like oh la bait free commission I'm seeking to destroy, you know, um, and that's what that person is doing. They're moving on to their next supply. And there's a lot of times where it make you feel bad. It's like, what did I do? You know, I did everything up under the sun to please this person. I, you know, and anything that you ventured out doing stuff for them that you probably feel shameful, you know, to even admit that you did. You know, you were willing to get into, I mean, you, you, you had enemies created. Because of the fact is you start identifying with the things that you, you see that were habits, toxic habits that they kept. And when you start, you know, presenting that and showing it, showing that red flag, that's when they already knew. But you have to understand when they were doing that with you, they were already getting, they already had different people in rotation with you. You weren't the only person who was going through that. You know, you're not the only person that was going through that. Anything that that person was doing to that ex or to that person before trust me they about to do it with you too you know I've been in situations before where I had a very low self esteem you know cause back when I was in um, school like if you had you know people fighting over you that you know that boosts your ego I'm like man look I got you know I got me one in a possible and I got folks fighting over me and stuff like that and then it came to that point where I you know I started seeing the different narcissists that I was with and it, you know I, I would see how they um it, it could be a person that i was dating and next you know i created an enemy i didn't even know i had and all of a sudden all these different 
drama situations you got people coming to your house or people wanting to fight you or people giving you that smug look giving you the gas face and you don't even know what happened you know like what did I do you know it'll make you start really feeling like th there's something wrong with you but you have to understand you have became a villain to somebody to where if anything was to happen they don't want anything to, like if you was to stand up for yourself and say you don't caught up with, with a person that you know that there was a side you know you thought you were the main you know but then you you had to be a side and a possible because there's many of them that's going down and going down the loop and there'll be different things where i would think it was amusing to the person that caused me drama that they were dealing with to be hurt now you see you know because they were getting excitement off of hurting me now the fact is that it, it done jumped and went back to you and it would be a back and forth thing where i didn't have my love for myself and i went through things for too long you know and i really went through that for too long but then it's just like i was very shameful for that because it's like with mine i went through it for years like it was like 20 some years i went through that and i was just like and i was so shameful to say that it would be people that i know like girl you still dealing with that you still ain't left that alone. And I would feel so bad about myself where it just showed me I did not love myself. This is something I was used to because I felt like, you know, I've been treated by this by every dude that I with. And it started off with how I was raised. That I normalized that, you know. And when you're going through that, when you start noticing that, you, you know, uh, about how that person is willing to do something hurtful to that person is like shoot they must really care for me that they're really to break this person down just to be with me you know and it's like you have to understand if they doing that to that person trust they're going to do it to you whatever they're doing to that person they're doing it they're, they're, they're going to do to you too so don't ever feel like you're on top of the world you know because they dogging that person out they see the fact that you got a low self-esteem like they do so they're going to sit up here and um dog whatever person is uh, you know all the way out the way just because it's going to be boosting up your self-confidence and your self-esteem just for them to go ahead and they're already setting you in line about how they're going to bomb you the next when you start getting to the point where you're starting to pick up on what that same person the other person are caught up to so they're moving on to supplies so don't ever feel like when they don't moved on to the next that they're doing that person e even better no they're doing that person the same way they did you it's just the fact is they, they left you alone for a moment, for that time being, you know, because they had to go in rotation. They had to put you on the, you know, on the um ignore list, the shadow, the ghost, you know, until that because they wanted to be able, you know, some people, they have their courage to say, you know, I deserve better. I need peace in my life. Being in this situation has not brought me peace. It's been hell. You know, I've been having, you know, it, it'd be like Jerry Springer and Maury Povich episodes constantly in my life. You know, I don't need this. You know, um, anybody that was uh, in that, that, that vibration to where they may have not had self-esteem. They had self-esteem issues. You know, they would start believing everything that that person said about you. So it, it's just like you're going to go through that. And when you actually have that courage to leave, they'll let you think. Oh, maybe they, they, they're going to change for me. You know, they'll start all of a sudden, you know, they'll, they'll be looking like white as rain. They'll be looking like the best thing to slice bread. You have to understand, anybody that will finally see your worth, it's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be in a few days. It's not going to be in a few hours. Like, oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. They'll cry. They'll, they'll say, you know, they're going to they gonna end it all if you leave them. I can't go a day without you. I can't go with this. I can't go without you and all that. And it will really start triggering you in some kind of way. It will really make you start second guessing. Am I doing the right thing to walk away? Yes, you are. Because it's never going to change. It's never going to change because they just because they moved on a new supply don't want don't think that they won't go back to the old supply when the new supply start acting up. They always got them in rotation and you that next one is like even though you know them they're going to come at you in a new way but it's going to be in the same vibration. It's just going to be different. You know? And these are those things where you have to understand where you're being gaslighted at. You have to understand that you know there's something that you you really need to pick up on and you have to really accept on what is going on in your life it can get very dangerous i've seen how people have gone through different things and it is like wiped their soul out 
to where they felt like a walking tragedy to where they officially, you know, officially ended it. Or the fact is, the person that they were dealing with ended it. You know, whatever you have to understand, whatever, you know, you I, I put it in my mind at times when I went through that, that there's I, I did everything I do and that person's never satisfied. You have to understand they never will be. Never will be. There'll be people that will eventually come into your life when you have gone through that, that vibration of healing. When you see that this is not something that's for you. You know, but it'll get to that situation where it'll be when you have gone through all that healing, you can look back and say, I needed that in my life. And it's not saying that as you uh, speaking negatively about yourself or anything or seeing that, you know, as you know, this is what you deserve. You just you, everybody deserve peace in their life. Everybody deserve happiness. But you have to understand peace and happiness. This is not love. That person can use that word, but they don't know the true meaning of that. They don't even, you can't expect somebody to love you that don't love themselves. You can't expect somebody to re respect you when they don't have respect for themselves. You know, they put your life on the line emotionally, mentally, sexually, you know, any kind of way, you know, just to get what they want. And that gaslights all the time and you're going through that discard phase to where you have to understand this is that time for you to really have that wake up call that, that anytime you enter a relationship like that and you've been in it for a long time and it just depends on what what level of narcissism that you're dealing with because some of them it, it can get it gets really 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 dangerous really dangerous and those are the ones that's a wake up call to be able to show you this is not this is not form love whatsoever it destroys your heart it destroys your soul it will continue to destroy your soul you know, you have to place love in yourself. You need to know where you're worth at because this is not your worth. And these are the things you had to be able to go through that reroutes you to show you this is not. You're, you're teaching somebody that it's okay to treat you that way. You know, you don't deserve, you will never deserve anything better. Or they'll tell you, you ain't going to, nobody's not going to want you after they see you like I see you. And that's where they want you to second guess yourself. They want you to feel like. This is all you're going to deserve. You're nobody. You got scars. You know, all these different things into your life. And this is at that time where you have scars, but these scars are showing this is where you need healing. Anything that they can do to try to keep you reeled in, they do it with, with sex. They do it with money. They're doing it where where they're telling you, oh, if you know, I'm about to go date somebody else. You have to understand, they when they feel like they're not going to heal, they'll they'll say, oh, I'll marry you or oh, I'll counsel. It's just like if you don't ever get married for that, just trust that you passed, you have dodged a whole whatever the worst kind of bomb is in 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 man's creation. You just undodge that, you know. And it's it's bad when you have to go through uh, co-parenting like that you know it, it can be you know it's very draining you going through that but it's like with my experience like I said I'm not going to you know uh, speak on my experience or my relationship as being a narrative that was you know the old me that was how I felt myself before I can all the way fully recognize that from the depths this is what I needed in my life that person has really showed me what I need it redirected me to where I really need to discover myself you know know my worth for myself know my love not allowing myself to settle knowing you know there's true love out there but I had to find it within myself I had to love myself and I liked that a lot you know I really liked it a lot because I lived and breathed that situation for so long and it wasn't just in that relationship with him it was with my family it was with you know my adopted father it was with even myself it was what I passed on to my kids you know and it, it was like it's easy for me to say I, I've, I've had so many different things happen to me because of what they did you know and maybe that was the case but I had to come to that point where I had to you know own my accountability up for that I had to be really honest with myself there were so many times I had ways of getting out, ways of really getting out. Like I had the funds to really leave and I chose not to. 
you know and when I finally had the gut to move like I had to move out of a whole state that that issue followed me here but then when it did follow me here it ended up turning around a turning point of being a blessing in disguise for me that I can truly say you know I've, I've always told him you know and there'll be times where I will say it in a combative mode but then I can say I appreciate what you what, what you have brought into my life even though it, it broke my soul in so many different ways because when I was going through that grief period I was going through a grief period you know losing a parent acknowledging you know finally finding out the identity of, of who my family was you know, really finding out the truth of, of everything that lo lied behind that. And then on top of that, at the same time, ending a narcissistic relationship at the same time. As well as a narcissistic relationship with myself. You know, finding out the traits that I carried, the different character characteristics that I carried as being a narcissist. In my own way. You know, I don't want to say I was a full-fledged narcissist. I had narcissistic traits. I had narcissistic tendencies. And I'm honest enough to say that. You know, and it wasn't something that it is something to brag about, but it's a blessing when I can allow myself to hold my accountable accountability for my own actions. I can be honest about that, you know, not to uh, spotlight uh, my ex for anything, you know, because I feel like I, I'm not in that vibration of where I want to sit up here and show this is what he did. This is what he didn't do. This is what because I feel like eventually whatever you're doing in life it, it's going to show. It's going to show, it's going to tell, you know, it's going to tell its own self on what it is. So it's not me trying to talk about him. It's just about the experience that I've gone through, you know, uh, throughout my life. You know, that I met him in my 20s and now I'm you know, almost close to 50. <laughs> you know, and it, you know, sometimes it doesn't take somebody that long to go through stuff. And I was embarrassed about that. I won't lie. I was really embarrassed about it. But then when I finally came to that close... To really seeing, you know, what happened. I was just like, dang. You know, I talked so bad about my relationship. So bad about him. And I was just like, I don't, I don't have, you know, the actions behind that situation. of, You know, the energy that was carried. You know, I don't want to sit up here and say I hate that person. Because hate is such a bad word. I, I just try my hardest. Use discern, discernment. Especially if you've gone through stuff that long. It's hard for you to detach and not say you know that person that situation and label it in such a bad dark way you know even though being in a narcissistic relationship is I mean there's nothing good about that until you can allow yourself to work walk away and be that president that advocate of people that are going through emotional mental any kind of you know stages of healing they're rehabilitating and when you can allow somebody to say I ain't just the president. You know, I, you know, I was this, this, and this, and this, and that. And being able to show people you experienced this yourself. It, it wasn't easy. You, you know, somewhere down the line, you actually experienced true love. But that couldn't happen. That door couldn't open until you experienced that true love with yourself. You know, you held boundaries up. There's different things that you, you had to really conquer. There's different things you had to detach from. There's th things that you had to go through ultimate, ultimate forgiveness. You know, I had to really forgive him for those things. And it was very hard, you know. Um, and it, it's at that point, I have to love from a distance. I will always have love for him. Not in the way that I've had. Because it was just the fact is, that love of that experience to help me find myself is what I loved. Because it was like that connection was codependency. It wasn't love at all. No matter how many times we used that word, it, d it did not have the, the meaning. If you were to look it up in the characteristics to know this is what love is. No. <laughs> it wasn't. But it showed me the love of where I lacked it myself. You know, and I really truly appreciate that. Because it was just like, you know, um, universe aligned you through different things where it's, it's, it's helping you find your purpose. It's helping you find yourself in life. Where, where you fit in. Where you don't fit in. Where you belong. Where you don't belong. You know, and, and on my pur purpose of what I do, it is very uh, challenging at times. I won't lie. You know, it's very scary at times. And, you know, it's, at times I didn't have that faith in myself to really take that leap. You know, because it is just like being where I am. This is being viewed out to many people. 
and I'm leaving my life out for me to be ridiculed. I can be, you know, uh, talk bad about, talk good about, or, you know, there's people that are going to hate me for what I'm talking about. You know, I know I got a lot of negative people that wish harm, wish bad on me, you know, that watches me all the time, watches every single thing I do. But I also have a lot of people that watch me and just show that they, it, it's just a, a reflection of showing you have a purpose. You know, if you're still living and waking up every day, not every day has to be that battle of my life sucks, you know, or why does God still have me here? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm, I've been honest with people. I, I mean, there's so many times I was going to give it to me what it wanted, you know, but it's just like when you got that brave heart, but a stubborn soul, that's why God picked me. I'm very stubborn. I'm very hard headed. You know, I, I speak out. You know, on myself, and I'm very, I've been hated for that. You know, I've been dogged out. I've been, you know, made as the enemy, you know, and it's okay because I've always been outspoken about myself, you know, and it's just, I'm not point, point no fingers, you know, I'm not really pointing no fingers, but I already know with me speaking on this, it, it's going to gain some attention towards certain people, and it's going to piss them off because I did it. But it's not about that. This is about me healing. This is about me forgiving anybody who's placed me in harm's way the way I've had, especially with my experience. You know, I had to lay at rest what was caused in my life. You know, what people were really willing to do for me to end my life, to place death on my life. You know, um, but being able to say, I appreciated you. And I say that wholeheartedly from the depth of my chest. And I'm not saying that in a sarcastic way. I'm not saying that in a condescending way or combative. But anything that shoots positivity where you're showing yourself as fearless is always going to be negative. It's always going to piss somebody off that doesn't want you to discover your, your, your inner healing, your inner power, your inner light, your, your warriorism through that. And... um universe wanted me to start talking about those things and it's not just about the narcissistic categories but you know you're having emotional intimacy you know healing yourself your inner child uh knowing what to look for when you're you're you know you're venturing out to dating you know what to look for when it comes to uh, uh, a narcissist you know what things that you have to understand what thing you have to expect when you're leaving you know um, why did they do this? Why did they do that? There's all, so many different things that they wanted me to talk about. And I'm just like, ugh. You know, but it's like, it's showing you believe in yourself. Girl, you have overcome so many different things. Give yourself credit. Don't be scared about who you're going to offend. You know, if you're coming out and you're, you're doing this for a good cause. And you're coming straight from the heart. It's not about... You know, spotlighting anybody, but you have to under, understand when it comes to a narcissist, they they do not want nobody to reveal who they truly are. They don't. They don't want you to do that. You'll become hated. They'll do anything to destroy the heck out of you when you start revealing things. Anything to show proof of what they are not is going to piss somebody off. But I know I'm coming from a good place. You know, uh, regardless of what's being said out there about me, I, I care less. You know, they know the truth. I know the truth. There's always, you know, they always say there's two. There's always three sides to the truth. Your truth, their truth, and the truth. You know, I don't, I don't have to pinpoint about how people are. You know, how toxic they are. How this, anything that that relates or connects to something very toxic or negative, because eventually, you know, it, it will reveal itself. You ain't got to do that. Then that's why, I, you know, I had to get out of the habit of doing that because I did. You know, I've done it. You know, one on one with people that really know they know me. There's people that it seem they've been with me when I've had have happened, or when I started here. You know, and it was at that point. This situation, you you have to be able to try to see the 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 brightest side of a negative situation, being able to see the the positive outcome out of negative circumstances. And this is mine. You know. Um, and it feels good to finally allow myself to do, walk out of that door, of that prison, of the pain, of what other people have caused me, what I allowed to cause myself from what people have caused me. You know, they couldn't affect me without me giving them permission to affect me. Anything that was detrimental that tried to end my life, universe was going to protect me for that. If it want my time, what nobody does is going to stop what God is going to protect. You're chosen, you're anointed, you know. Um, regardless of what people are putting, you know, I had bounties over my head. 
you know, but yet there are so many different things that God has protect, protected me from. And being able to be at that sound mind and be in that vibration to where I can honestly speak about that without, you know, identifying myself as still being in that, that vibration. I don't identify with that anymore. And I had to be able to allow myself to accept how people are. That's just how people are. You can't force people to be something that they cannot have that capability of doing it without themselves. That you can't force anybody to heal just because you're on that healing uh, vibration. You can't force somebody else to do that. Just because you hold yourself accountable when it comes to a narcissist, good luck with that because they won't. You know, um, if they're talking bad about you, if they you can't you don't talk to them about you, they're always going to find something to say something about you anyway. It's not going to be the truth. It's going to be how they their truth is. And it's going to be how they're going to shape you up. You have to understand that that's uh, there are different ways of gaslighting you. You know, um, you're going to have enemies. You know, it's going to be to that point where some people are like, let me, you know, let me see who this person is. Because, you know, they don't have that person seen, I mean, like they were the scum of the earth. Like they're bottom feeders, you know, they're gutter butt trollops. They're this and this, that. And when you finally get to that, that, that sign to where that person isn't as bad as what they seem. That person just went through some stuff. That person identified who that culprit was. You know, you, you figured out what that narcissist is. You know his weak you know his or her weaknesses. You know their habits. You know their behaviors. You know what sometimes is predictable, what isn't predictable. Stuff can be a shock of what depth they're willing to do to end you. You know, when they when they feel like they can't get you to end yourself. You know, all those different things. So when universe is telling me, you know, hey, I want you to shed light on it. I'm like, Ugh. you know, uh, okay. You know, I'll just, you know, be able to do it. But it's just showing you have courage in yourself. You know what you healed from. You know what things you had to accept. You know, I had to really forgive him. You know, I had to re forgive the people that, you know, caused the pain that led me to where I'm at right now. You know, and being able to say, if I didn't go through this, I wouldn't have been meeting the beautiful people I've met out there. Whether it was a good or a bad experience, whether we still connect or we're no longer still connected. Anybody that I've had in my life, whether they've done me wrong, did the worst to me, that's already been done, even after they know, you know, the things that I've gone through. I still wish them well. Still wish them ble blessings, you know, to keep, you know, adding towards blessings of their lives, you know, and uh, pray for their healing, you know. And I'm um, wishing them the best, you know, and going through that, it's been beautiful for me. You know, there's a lot of days where I wake up crying, you know, tears of joy, of gratitude because of what I went through. You know, it's not what I've gone through. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And I've, I've gotten a lot of them, you know, especially from my, my situation I'm in now, you know, um, but it helped me find my strength. It shows me where I can be resilient at. It allows myself it allows me to know that I'm protected in everything that I do. Um, it shows me that nobody can't take anything away from me that I don't give away myself. Um, nobody can't stand you know, nobody can't stand in the way or shut doors that God is gonna open. You know. Um, being able to love myself more than I've ever done before, which I didn't. You know, um, being able to know my worth my self-respect, you know, being able to place boundaries up and stay strong no matter what I face. Even though I might have a bad day, yeah, that's a bad day, but doesn't mean it's a bad life. Just because I had a bad experience don't mean the good can't come out of that experience of uh, whatever it was that really rocked my socks off. You know, I've been through uh, a lot of traumatic things where I've talked about and there's some I haven't. I've dealt behind closed doors. You know, I've had to be vulnerable. I'm talking about a lot of many things that, you know, that has caused a lot of grief in my life. You know, a lot of people didn't believe me, you know, uh, or they, they poke fun of that or they wish the worst on me when they found out it was true, you know. Um, but I won't never take for granted the blessings that brought me from all those things. So um, just being able to talk on this, it was it, it was a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I said I'm glad I did. It really made me feel good. You know, I love uh, being able to have the purpose I have to be able to uh, allow people in my life to be able to know this is what I went through. 
You know, I'm not worried about judgment. I'm not worried about criticism. You know, um, people to tell me this is not true. That's not true. You know, I, I know what I went through. You know, anybody else's uh, thoughts on what I went through is not going to change my experience. But being able to, you know, not have anything to say negative about what, what comes my way is only a learning experience for me. I'm not going to, even if it's the worst of the worst being said to me. I'm still going to use the experience to be able to add towards that that notch in my belt and being able to say, hey, this too shall pass. And I, I appreciate you being honest about how you felt, you know, but it ain't going to stop me from what I'm doing. You know, um, I'm going to keep carrying on. I'm going to keep forgiving myself for the things that I held on to. I'm going to keep forgiving the people that I've placed on. Uh, the things that they placed on my life whether they apologized or not you know um, and still appreciate what they brought to me because it showed me of who I was within myself you know what I was not within myself what kind of patterns and um, uh, things that I've carried on for so long needed to cease and desist but appreciate what, what it brought me out of that so you know if you're ever going through that remember those words you know, it's going to show you your strength through your moments of weakness. I, I believe that. I, I'm a strong believer of that. You know, and being able to say, hey, I've gone through that. You know, I, I show my strength all the time. But I've also told people, even the strongest people got weak experience. Now, I have no problem with telling people that. You know, but that strength is always going to be, you know, that, that's going to be my ace till that. And I will never allow nobody to dull that. I will never no, let nobody discourage that either. And so, you know, if you're going through that, don't allow nobody to do that. You know, if you're going through experience and you're still living through it, there's a purpose behind that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. I hope it was able to help people. And it's just just to be able to send awareness out, you know, uh, not allow myself to be uh, projecting in fear because uh, it's like fear is not going to be an option for me. You know, if I am, if I, there's fear there, it's going to fuel from something that's going to show me my strength. So if it's to be able to help somebody do that, I, I love to be able to do that. That's part of my purpose, and I love that, and I'll be able to enjoy that as well. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. I, like I said, I'm not going to, you know, even I forgot because I, I put Hayoka and Twin Flame on it, but I'm going to put it down. I'm not going to use Hayoka. Da, 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 da. You know, if this is something you identify with, there was a moment for, there was a reason why it caught your eye. It was something that you need to know about yourself and the things that you may be have gone, you, you know, you may be going through or you have. So uh, much love to you. You know, I always leave my contact information uh, in the description box below, as well as the link to my podcast. I also will start doing these in my podcast as well uh, to be able to do those. You know, um, uh, it's a beautiful experience to be able to add different things, you know, creative vibes towards that way of building a platform of my own. Um, and it's very beautiful and it's very exciting for that. So uh, I'm grateful and be blessed to be able to, you know, be a part of something like that. So um, even if you feel generous, I also uh, leave my cash app uh, their information as well. If you ever feel generous, you know, to drop something off, it'll be greatly appreciated. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, no matter how long you've been going through that, no matter how long you've been struggling about it, don't ever feel like it's not going to be destined for you. Because it's just like anything that you're going through that is not, you know, just been handed to you is going to is going to make an impact in your, in, in, impact in your life. And it's really going to make a dent and, and it's going to shock you, you know, just because the fact is you never gave up, even when you wanted to, even when things got heavy and things got uncertain. You don't know what doors is preparing to open for you just because of those experiences and you have been consistent with yourself. You know, even time when you, you know, you say I bump it, I'm a. I'm going to quit. I'm tired. You know, it's, it's not, I'm not being recognized. I'm not being appreciated. And I'm not seeing, being able to see, be seen. You don't know who's watching. You don't. You, even though it's not it being acknowledged to you, you know, you being rewarded in more ways than what you may just not realize that. So keep being consistent and persistent with yourself. You know, the devil will have do anything to make you get in that vibration of, of, of giving up today. Just because the fact is, you know, your big win was tomorrow. You know, you don't know what you don't know what's being spoken about you behind closed doors. You really don't. So um, allow yourself to keep going, and you know, just for that, God's preparing for more than what you imagine. So you keep going. It, it's some kind of appreciation and gratitude is going to come when that door finally opens for you. So you keep moving. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, Christian Flaherty as much as uh, Angie. I much love to you. Um, Farrah Hazard, um, mm -mm -mm. 
uh, spiritual self ministry as well as well as uh, uh, what is it mastery I apologize much love to you if you you're new to the channel you know please drop a line I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me if you have any suggestions that you would love for me to be able to uh, share the light on on in a content or even if uh, uh, if I plan you know a uh, uh, chat like I do uh, live and vibe chat as well as uh, chat support if you if there are certain things that you want to talk about um, I would do that because usually when I do chat support I go ahead and let them know hey these are going to be the subjects that I'm going to talk about you know and go ahead and prepare you for what I'm going to do sometimes I do random and you know just be very random about what I talk about whatever comes to my mind I'll just go ahead and do so, um, you know, if you do that, you know, go ahead and drop a line and, and, you know, if you want me to, I'll give a post notification shout out towards that. Like, hey, you know, such and such wanted me to do this video. Now, I usually do that anyway because I don't never if, if it didn't come from my heart or from my experience that somebody uh, gave me that in, that insight to be able to pass on. I always make sure I give that person that credit. I want I never want to sit up here and take credit for something. I know I didn't come off on my own, you know, um. And appreciate that so I always make sure I do but if it's something like hey you know Roz, I would love for you to do a video for this but please don't don't put out my name I always respect that you know that person's uh, secrecy I'll do that prior you know uh, you know their stuff will be unknown so uh, if you ever want to be able to speak to me I always leave, like I said I'll leave my, my contact information in the description box below you know um, I know there's a lot of people that I've connected with that has been through these experiences and I love to be able to connect you know um, I know it's not easy to start back over from the ground up after being in a, uh, a domestic situation like that you know anytime you have been able to de you know leave that behind you don't realize how much you don't put like a thousand you know kudos on your life just because you do that because a lot of people don't have the courage or the strength to do that you know a lot of people don't end it don't end well for them but when if it made it for you there's a purpose behind that so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video much love to you God bless you know um, wherever in, a, in life where this this video drops out on whatever day it is well, I hope you're being very responsible and very safe and um, I love you and I'm sending so many, you know, blessings down your way. You know, this too shall pass. If you've gone through this, you know, it, it can, I mean, it, it can really make you look at yourself in a totally different way. But when you have gotten to the part where I am, you'll understand why you went through it. And it'll be a beautiful feeling where you can finally feel that love within yourself that, you know, you, you, you truly deserve because you truly do. So much love. Peace.